So I've brought in a design from another application. I want to be able to assemble it together, make sure everything has joints on it, and actually see how this mechanism would work. So you'll first notice there are no joints in here. I can drag these things around. Nothing is grounded down. So we're going to grab those that base component, ground it, and then I'm going to start by adding a couple of joints. So we'll start out in my assemble command, and we'll just assemble these things together. And you'll notice that uh, it starts off, it puts in a revolute joint in my case. Um, I could use a slider which allows it to move up and down. A cylindrical will allow it to move up and down and spin around. We're looking for just a slider and we'll accept that. So now if I click and drag I can see that that gives me exactly what I'm looking for. And then we can also come in and we're going to grab the back face of that cam and that block and we want that to be a revolute. So we've got a couple of different joint types there. I can spin that around, move that up and down. You'll notice that these can come in contact right now. So what we want to be able to do is set this up where as I move this around that uh, that cam follower will follow it. So there are a couple of tricks that we can do. First I'm going to drag it down below that um, below the, the cam itself and we can see that we show the value of that. So if we use something like 140 it would be in contact. So we're going to use that value. Let's go over to that slider joint and I'm just going to edit the joint limits and we'll do something like a, I'll put in a rest position of 140. So what this is always going to try to do as I drag this up it's always pushing it to a resting position of 140. So this is a great way to simulate uh, gravity, springs, you know, a number of things that you may want to simulate in your design. The next thing we want to do is add contact so as I spin this around it will come in contact with that cam follower um, or vice versa. So we're going to go over to our contacts, create a new contact set and I'm just going to pick those two components. So now when I drag this, let's move that up looks like we may have lost there we go so now when I spin that around you'll notice that as it comes in contact it's always moving that around so I can come into the joint that revolute joint and we may want to rename it to something like drive so I can always come back and and animate that we're gonna animate the model so here we can see that I've got those two joints I have contact and a rest position to be able to simulate this cam follower. So hopefully that helps.